organic life form is fallible. So, you know, you follow the logical extension now that if, if any organic life, life form is, is fallible, even as they become super intelligent, which they could still theoretically make mistakes. Yeah, it's possible that the simulators might make a mistake, but they would also be in an extremely strong position to cover that mistake up from the people in the simulation. They would presumably be super intelligent and easily able to outsmart us. They have complete control over the whole structure of reality. And if you're running the simulation, you could even in principle go in and edit the brain states of people inside the simulation. You could erase the memories, you could rewind the simulation. There would be any number of tools to avoid a kind of glitch from ruining the simulation if, if they wanted to do that. There, there would conversely be many ways in which they could let us know that we were in the simulation if they wanted to do that. It could be a big window popping up in front of you, like informing you you are in a simulation. Like, so it's a hypothesis that certainly there are possible observations which if we made them would count say heavily in favor of being in a simulation and therefore there are observations that would count against it as well. Uh, but one way to get some at least weak probabilistic evidence for or against the simulation hypothesis is via the simulation argument itself. So if you remember the argument tries to show one of these three propositions is true. So that means that any evidence that we have that makes the other two alternatives less likely would have to make the simulation hypothesis more likely. So, for instance, if we discovered strong evidence that there is some very great filter that would tend to make it impossible for any civilization to reach technological maturity, that would tend to reduce the probability of the simulation hypothesis. Um, now, one situation in which we would get very strong evidence that we are in a simulation